All right, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about limiting and excess reactants. Uh, we've already had a lesson about how to, um, or at least what the idea of limiting and excess reactant is using uh, recipes as an example. So today we'll do the stoichiometry to it. And uh, so let's get started. So we're going to do a reaction between sodium and chlorine, which is diatomic, to make salt. And let's say that we uh, begin with um, 18 grams of sodium, and we begin with uh, 50 liters of chlorine. All right, so here's the thing that you have to do. There's actually several ways, different techniques you can use to solve this. Um, I'll show you what I think to be the easiest way uh, to solve it, and maybe in class I'll show you a second uh, way to do it that some people like to do as well. And so here's what you have to do. Uh, what you have to do is you have to convert each of the quantities that you've been given over to sodium chloride. And you can just go to moles. You don't have to go to grams if you don't want to. So we can just go to the mole. Uh, and so that's pretty easy because we've done that before. And so 18 grams of sodium, we will convert that to moles of sodium. So one mole of sodium is 20, we're just going to round these, 23 grams of sodium. And then we will do our mole ratios. I don't even believe we balanced this yet, so we need to balance this. So we're going to put a 2 here and a 2 there. And so every 2 moles of sodium is going to produce 2 moles of sodium chloride. And when you do that math, you get uh, 0.78 moles of salt in ACL. So then let's do the other one. When you divide by 22.4 liters and multiply by 2 moles of chlorine, you get 4.5 moles of NaCl. And so once you have your two numbers in moles over here, you just look at your uh, answers, your quantities, and what you're going to be able to make is the smallest number, uh, which is the... Um, 0.78. You can only make 0.78 because once that is made, something runs out. Well, in that case, what runs out? This runs out. And so that makes sodium your limiting reactant. So let's go up here and label that. We have now learned that sodium is the limiting reactant. If sodium is the limiting reactant, then that makes chlorine the excess reactant. And so by doing those two uh, stoichiometry problems, you've answered um, those two questions. What is the limiting reactant and what is the excess reactant? So the key thing over here on this right side, when you get these answers, after you convert both of these uh, to, um, to moles, is to find the smallest one. The smallest one is uh, the source of the smallest one, if let me say that, is the limiting reactant. So where did this 0.78 come from? That came from the 18 grams of sodium. So sodium is the limiting reactant. And whatever else is, is uh, present in the equation is going to be excess. If we have three reactants, we have two excess reactants. Okay? So that's pretty, pretty easy, I think. Now, a second question that I can ask you is how much of the uh, product is produced? So that would normally in this question be how many, uh, how many grams would be produced. Uh, so question mark grams. Well, that's pretty easy because we've already determined we've already determined that we pr can produce 0.78 moles of salt. We figured that out on the first two problems that we did when we converted from sodium to sodium chloride. We end up with 0.78 moles, which is the smaller of the two. So we just do the additional step at this point, uh, which is to convert those moles into grams. So one mole of salt uh, add up 22. Uh, what's around to 23 for sodium? And chlorine is 35 and a half. I don't like to round the half there. It's right smack in the middle. And so that's going to get you uh, 58.5 grams per mole. So 
So when you punch that into your calculator, you get 45.6 grams of salt. So that's how much salt we can make. If we have 18.3 grams of sodium and 50 liters of chlorine, we could actually produce 45.6 grams of salt can be made. All right, and there's really one more kind of question that I can also ask you, and that question would be, how much of the excess reactant is left over? How much of the excess reactant is left over? So the question is this, how much of this do I have when the reaction is all said and done? Because remember, the sodium is going to run out. We're going to have zero grams of this left over. We're going to make 45.6 grams of uh, Sodium chloride, well, if we run a significant digits, we go with 46. Um, but how much chlorine will we have left? Because we're not going to use all of the chlorine. There's going to be some amount of this 50 liters left. Um, how I like to teach this is I like to just run from the, do a stoic country problem from the sodium to the uh, chlorine. So we'll just do that standard stoichiometry problem. So 18 grams of sodium. Do the molar mass of that, which is 23. So one mole. And then we have a ratio of 2 to 1. 2 moles of sodium to 1 mole of chlorine. And then the chlorine is in liters. This is important. So we need to go to whatever it's in so we can make a comparison. So let's convert our chlorine to liters. One mole of chlorine to 22.4 liters of chlorine. And that gets you 8.8 .8 liters of chlorine. All right, so this is where you have to be able to interpret. What does that 8.8 .8 liters of chlorine represent? Well, that means if I react 18 grams of sodium, I'm going to need to use 8.8 .8 liters of chlorine. If I have 50 liters of chlorine and I use 8.8 .8 liters of chlorine, if I just do that subtraction, I'll get 51, I'm sorry, not 51, 41. 41.2 liters of chlorine remains. So I actually used very little of my chlorine. There was lots of chlorine left over in this case. So 41.2 liters of chlorine remain. So you've answered uh, four questions in doing these little stoichiometry problems. You've answered the question of what is the limiting reactant. You've answered the question of what is the excess reactant. You have determined how much product is produced. Product produced and you determine how much excess reactant remains or is left over. All of those questions you've answered uh, in those stoichiometry problems. And that's how you do it. This, this, I think, is one of the easier ways to do it. It's just my opinion. There's other teachers who may think it's easier to do it some other method. But I like this particular method.